I picked up some more foster kittens. They desperately needed my help over at the Humane Society. So I got another litter of four. Hey Vapers, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Tea Priv by Smokes. Alright guys, yes, today we are looking at the Tea Priv kit. This does come in like any color you can think of. You can get it for around, I think, $70 to $75 depending on where you shop. I will leave a link below to where you can get this for yourself. But let's dive down close and take a look at what it comes with in the kit. So it comes packaged like so with this annoying plastic. Smoke. Inside. Ooh, I have the purple tea priv. Oh, look at it. It's so cool. OMG. But anyways, let's see what's in the box. Do not eat that. Under here we have all the goodies. Quality control card. User's manual for the tea priv and a battery safety card. This kit does come with a matching Big Baby Beast tank. Oh, that looks so nice. Also in the box, we have the micro USB to USB cable, some vape bands, some extra parts, and an extra coil. The extra coil is the Baby T8 coil. It is a 0.15 ohm, and you can vape it between 50 and 100 watts. And it also comes with an extra glass tube. But here is the T Priv. It has a firing bar on the side right here. And in these spaces, it'll light up. I'll show you that in a second. T Priv. Here is a micro USB port. Here are the regulatory up and down buttons. On the bottom we have a hinge locking battery door for two 18650 ran in series. These are sold separately. I have these two here. Your battery should be married and matched, which means charged, bought, and all that good stuff at the same time. Ooh, ooh, it's lighting up. That was so cool. And then also on the top is the OLED screen which I will show you guys in a second, and the 510 connection. The T-Priv is 86.6 millimeters by 48.1 millimeters by 32 millimeters. Five clicks to the fire bar to turn it on. And it says smoke with the version of software. It has an intuitive display of the power level. Right now we are in watts. N is for normal because there are different draw strengths like soft, normal, and hard. The battery life of both batteries, the ohms of the tank, but there is no tank attached, so it's zero. The working voltage and a seconds counter. And if you try to fire it without an atomizer, it reads check atomizer and then it flashes red on the sides here. That's so cool. Like, danger, danger. There is no coil. The wattage range is 6 to 220 watts. And you can see it's changing by 0.1 watt increments right now. We'll hold down the plus button. And it goes really fast all the way up to 220. And then it goes down by 1 watt. To get in the selection menu, you just press the fire bar three times. Then you can change mode, you can go into the puffs settings, the color settings, the settings for the actual device, or you can power it off. To power it off, just press the fire button and you can select between off and on. You just press and hold the power button to select, so I'm going to keep mine on. One, two, three. So if you select mode, you can change from watts to temp. So let's go temperature. Then you can change your wattage strength, then you can change from NI, TI, stainless steel back to NI. So let's say we want TI this time and then you can see that it says TI up there from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius. The minimum resistance when in temperature mode should be no lower than 0.06 ohm to 3 ohms and in wattage mode no lower than 0.1 ohm to 3 ohms. So I'll show you what you can do in puff settings. You can have a max of puffs of never you can set it to what your max puff would be and then it says already having three so we'll just say never because i don't want a max puff really you can reset the puff counter because it was at three now 
which I did not take a puff, but it must be quality control checked. We'll say no. And that's the puff menu. One, two, three. If you go into the color menu, you can change the color. Red, green, blue, yellow, magenta, cyan, white, or RGB. Red, green, blue. And now it's constantly lighting up that color. Let's go back, one, two, three. Go back to the color settings, press and hold. RGB or rainbow and it will do all of them. Ooh, or just red. I want rainbow. Style fade. Jump. Jump or fade. I see. Ooh, I like fade. So this has the lights come on when the screen's on. This has it always on. This has it when you're vaping. And this has it off. I'm gonna do when vaping because I think that'll be the coolest. And in settings. Oops. In settings, you can set the stealth on. You can change the contrast of the screen. You can rotate the screen. You can adjust the ohms or download new firmware. So it's basically the same as all the other smoke menus. This is gonna be cool. Oh, it's not gonna do rainbow. I have to put the tank on. Here's the matching Big Baby Beast tank. Um, I'm sure all of you guys know all about it, but just in case you don't, it is a 24.5 millimeter diameter. Holds mills. It's a glass and stainless steel construction. It is a top fill like the other tanks. You swivel it and fill in that slot, avoiding the middle post. And it does have a very wide Delrin drip tip. It does have dual adjustable airflow at the bottom that is on a stopper. And a 510 pin at the bottom. And it does have a 0.4 ohm coil in there. Good between 40 and 80 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my tank today with some Bazooka Peach Pineapple Sour Straw. It's from their Tropical Thunder line. So good. Woo! Vapey. All right, guys, this is it put together. Doesn't that look so nice? And when you fire it, it lights up. <laughs> I started laughing at the kittens because they got scared. I got startled when I started taking a vape of this, but you can see that I have mine set to rainbow so it does light up rainbow while I'm vaping it. I think that is so cool. And this does have some protection features like low battery protection, short circuit protection, a vaping cutoff, overheat protection as well. Holy cow, it's kicking out the clouds and I'm only using this at 65 watts. Clouds, bitch. Guys, this is a heavy duty machine. It's a brick. It has two 18650 batteries in it. This huge baby beast tank on top. It's heavy, it's bulky, but man, is it freaking nice. And it's blowing some clouds. Oh my goodness. Woo. I've been getting better at being able to handle these like force feed you the vapor type tanks. But man, does that flavor just, it is so intense and the vapor is so intense, like I almost can't handle it. But I'm really liking this setup. The, the biggest thing for me is that it's huge and it's heavy, but like it's so nice that I like it, like I, I want to use it, like it looks badass. But it's just so bulky and big in my hand. Oh my gosh, all right. You have seen it here, folks. This is a mini fog machine. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of the T-Priv, and I will leave a link below to where you can check it out for yourself. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be down below. I also started a Patreon. Ooh, a little sneak peek. And one more thing before you go. If vaping is something you're passionate about, please join Kasa.org and learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching.